close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. That's why we're here. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for other people. Because you want to find a happiness that really is satisfying to yourself and doesn't cause any harm to anybody else. And that's a special kind of happiness. It's not the kind of happiness that you just walk along the road and it comes at you. It's a happiness that comes from your own good actions. And where do your actions come from? They come from the mind, which means we have to train the mind. Because the mind can do all kinds of things. It can make you happy, it can make you miserable, regardless of what's happening outside. What other people are doing or saying, you can take what they say and do and make it a cause for happiness, you can make it a cause for pain. So when you see this tendency of the mind, you realize you've got to train the mind. So it focuses on the right things, thinks the right thoughts, has the right attitudes. That's why we're here meditating, to bring the mind under some control. We focus it on the breath and make sure it stays there. Of course, in the beginning it's not going to stay. It's going to wander off like it always has before. It's like training a small animal. You have to be very patient and very insistent. You've got to stay right here. And sometimes you have to be a little rough, and sometimes you have to be very gentle. But the gentleness here was the comfort of the breath. Try to make the breath as nourishing for the body as you can. The roughness is when you keep on top of your mind. You don't let it wander off the least little bit. As soon as it goes wandering off, down. You come right down and say, no, you don't go there. You come back here. And it's this combination of roughness and gentleness. That's how the little animal gets trained. It's the same with the mind. The mind needs to be given something that it really likes, like the breath. And if it doesn't like the breath yet, well, play with the breath. Experiment with the breath till you find something you really do like. And at the same time, your mindfulness has to be really strong. Your alertness has to be very sharp. So you can catch the mind as it's about to wander off and create trouble again. Because it's only when the mind is under your control that you really have some, you really trust it. And it actually will lead to your happiness. It will do things and think things and say things that lead to happiness. Not things that are going to come back and bite you. So we stay right here with the mind. Train the mind. Because once the mind is trained, that's, that's when there's real happiness. And it's a happiness that doesn't harm anybody else, because it's a totally inward thing. And it's a happiness that doesn't disappoint, because it's there inside the mind. It comes from your own ability. It doesn't depend on the weather. It doesn't depend on the economy. It doesn't depend on all those other things outside that are beyond your control. You've got a happiness that's under your control. And that's when you can really feel secure. <laughs>